Well, I would say that just for a start, it's really important that hospitality students can follow instructions. Uh, because being in the industry, they're obviously going to have to follow plenty of instructions. And if, for instance, they can't uh, follow the instructions in a, um, a recipe or something like that. Oh, sh then, you know, they're not going to fit into the industry particularly well. What's an egg? But having said that, some are better at following instructions than others. I think some people think I talk too much. When you go to somewhere like oh. Ephesus and they tell you that that's a banana tree, it's not. Uh, looking at other things. We are not watching that movie. Can we watch it? No. you got a new street. Yeah, I'm probably not engaged. They should expect you know, a certain level of difficulty. So going back to what we've done previously, five and a half. So is it Tommy? Two halves. Um, you'd be expected to work hard, show rigor, and, and challenge yourself every day. That's that's what we expect from all our math students. Students studying uh, general maths have found that some of the content that they're they're going through has been covered in stage five, so they tend to switch off a little bit, um, and as a result, they sort of miss out on the nuances and. The, the, you know, the increased challenges. I mean, the whole course is designed about um, how you might use maths in the real world. So if it's anything from maths and design, how you might use it in building and construction. It's a good foundational course for any further study in maths. You get to see calculus, which is a, a really elegant, no. beautiful part of uh, mathematics. So it's a calculus-based course. Well, they could expect to be doing things that would be seen as non-traditional English. You know, the use of the internet, so some of the assignments, for example, revolve or involve them accessing Twitter, Facebook, uh, Instagram, those sorts of things. I'd have to say the major distraction, particularly after lunch, is the discussions around handball. One student really likes to watch himself playing football a lot on video. You know, it's, some days I think, should they be medicated? Other days, I'm not sure. Okay, so this year there's been a range of texts from novel to poetry, documentary. Yeah, there's a wide variety and it's very exciting. We have some very creative students here. How is there anything creative in there at all? And yeah, just showing us that they can think outside of the box. Year 12s are so dumb. Try to avoid cliche. Everything that you've ever heard before, you don't want to go there again. You want to be as original as possible. We don't need to know about your relationships. What's the gas? Who's with who? Um, I heard Andrew's got friends on. Yeah, that's probably it. Oh, you know, I put 110% in there and make sure that um, I'm showing to my students how exciting I find these ideas and thoughts. It's so, so fascinating, right? Because he's getting us into these questions about what life is about. And I know that they're giving me 110% back. And the enormity of the universe opens up before him. It's all about making you think. It's all about exploring human experience. Um, and that's what language, that's what literature is all about. They develop independent research skills and extended writing. Can I drop now? Extension to English is an opportunity for students to be writers. It is a real subject. To be composers. It is a real subject. And, and really uh, explore it is a real subject. an area that they may be interested in. It's a real subject. I tend to like doing it without yelling and, and screaming. Um, we've done an excursion to Ikea. Alright guys, so I'm planning our next excursion to our IKEA. We should go to Mac is this. But we went yesterday. And let's go. <laughs> Oh, positive reinforcement, positive feedback is, is the, the best way. Hey, you're late again. Get your pop plan and get out. What mindset should students have or plan to have in order to study your subject? Alright guys, so what is the strategic goal of marketing? Well, they need a mind. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, 
address. Yep, well, prac work consists of many different things in biology, like dissecting eyes and chicken wings, and also testing food substances. They need to be dedicated, they need to be motivated, they need to be keen to learn, and they need to be open-minded. They could become a high school teacher just like me. Is that right? It's definitely higher or more challenging than a lot of the subjects that are out there. And this becomes carbonate number one. This is number two. I've now got one one diagram. Um, especially also because the, the sort of students that pick chemistry are some of the best of the best. <laughs> Across the state. So the standard is very high. I think that, again, because you don't pick a subject like chemistry because you want the, you know, some, something that's an easy option. Everything's all good. Orange, a little bit stuck, but not too bad. You're okay for now. Red, you're definitely stuck and you need my help. Now, it's, it's really important that we make sure that we use these properly, you know, so that it, it makes my job easier and it helps with Well, I don't think chemistry is a dangerous subject. Yes. It's quick, I'm... But, as a member of the Work Health Safety Committee, I follow the regulatory guidelines. <laughs> Ensuring that students are wearing the correct safety equipment and making sure that the experiments are conducted in a safe manner. <laughs> Nothing really gets on the nerves. I'm glad, I'm glad we don't bore you anymore. <laughs> It's probably the same in all senior subjects, the some lack of effort. <laughs> it's a very difficult subject with a very extensive work ethic required, which makes it difficult for uh, some members, uh, particularly, I suppose, physics deals with uh, the motion of objects, how things move, Eva. You know, kinematics and dynamics. So effective students, um, Certainly, you know, you're attending all lessons and you're focused during those lessons. Anyway, so, it was great. We do a lot of experiments to show the, the way that the theory that we're working on works in practical situations. Momentum and energy. Oh, oh, we um, cover the three key learning areas of uh, sport, sport and sport. Uh, one of the key things is to set high expectations. The students in SLR are always striving to... Uh, there's a lot of unique students in that, in that group. And uh, the word that I think describes some of them... Uh, I don't think it matters whether it's a, you know, a, a modern classroom or a classroom 20 or 30 years ago. It's about Marbo, it's about the constitution, it's about the vibe. Um, no, it's about the vibe. Sometimes the junior students are intimidated by the older kids. Excuse me, sir. Um, can I grab my hat? Yeah, sure. <laughs> and um, they would probably enjoy some of the shenanigans that, uh, that, that, that go on in there. There really isn't much practical in year 11 and 12. Um, there is a bit of practical when you do first aid, so that might be doing CPR or mannequins or strapping bandages. Are you bandaged for a snake bite? So we'll just use Zach as an example. So we'll do it to show how it's done. Yeah. Right, what? Three is Oh, I've been bitten. So there's a lot of work in PDHP. Tonight's homework, guys. Please study the whole textbook. I find kids tend to keep up to date. There are a few that don't keep up to date. Where are your essays? Oh, I don't have any. Where's your textbook? Uh, left at home. Where's your folders? It's in the car. Uh, Guys, every week, where's the stuff? Uh, Don't tell me you're looking at surfing again. Yeah, it is a lot of work. <coughs> Who made a noise? Uh, yes, I think uh, Year 12 students are very lucky to be able to have all of those cooking facilities there. So I think that, yeah, it allows them to use the fridge to keep all their things cold. So that's why. <laughs> 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 Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> 
can use the microwave to heat it up again or the toasted sandwich maker or whatever. Uh, Shit. Honey, come get your eggs. <laughs> <laughs>